LEGO Harry Potter Diagon Alley is pretty much confirmed at this point. Uh, welcome to the Cool Factor, this is Mike. I think that's the most exciting news for the Harry Potter fans and many, many more fans in the LEGO world as of today. Uh, kind of like a official, not official leak, but we can talk about it. It's the set number 75978. The confirmation is coming from the actual LEGO shop at home for Japan and Singapore markets. Uh, they kind of uh, made the website for ordering the set active for a split second and basically, of course, fans were kind of, you know, in really fast to get this information out and they were able to see the description of the set and the actual pieces counts and um, the retail prices. But, uh, th I mean, that price was uh, from those markets initially, but translated to the US market, it's gonna be about $400 for a 5,544 pieces set, which is pretty fantastic. It's gonna be a massive set, of course. It's, you know, the size of the Hogwarts castle. We don't have the pictures. I don't think they uploaded the pictures on that website, but we do have the full description. Uh, the brickfund.com, uh, Alan reported on this, saying that the set will include the Ollivander's shop, Flourish and Blood shop, Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, uh, Scribble's writing implements, quality quidditch supplies, and the Florian uh, Fortesque's uh, ice cream parlor, along with the Daily Prophet um, office. It's awesome. So there is the official announcement. Uh, I mean, it's official announcement will be coming soon together with the pictures probably, but that's what the uh, shop uh, for Japan and um, Singapore were holding. So you can see the full experience here. Let me just read that through. Iconic stores packed with authentic movie details, measuring more than a meter wide. You can see that the piece count really will translate to a massive Hopefully, I think that that being said, it might be an actual uh, modular style building, the size, you know, like we get in the creator modulars, and it's gonna be probably like a massive uh, expansion of the old Dragon Alley set. But anyway, measuring more than a meter wide, meter wide, the impressive model captures the scale and ambience of the busting magic supplies hub. Behind magnificent facades lie intriguing interiors, fascinating, bustling. Uh, sorry, fascinating futures and familiar characters. Check out the ones that Ollivander's drop in on Gilderoy's Lockhart's book signing event at Flourish and Blots. Bookseller obtain a love potion from Weasley's Wizard Wheezes and peruse the products and paraphernalia at Scribble's writing implements, quality Quidditch supplies, Florian Fortesque's ice cream parlor and the Daily Prophet. Uh, cool collectible building toys. I think that's a translation for the website, so it may not be very accurate into the English, but let's see what it says. The extensive range of LEGO models and places provide fans of the Harry Potter universe uh, endless imaginative fun and creative display possibilities. This large LEGO Harry Potter Dragon Alley, set number 75978, a display model gives fans of the Harry Potter movies age 16 and up a chance to create magical London's uh, ma most magical shopping strip. There's another uh, mentioning of the all the uh, places, including the set, authentic accessories and familiar minifigures from the Harry Potter movies make it possible to create a living model and endless possibilities to rearrange and create new narratives. This challenging uh, and rewarding construction, uh, great blah, blah blah, Christmas holiday gift, and the measurements are important: uh, 29 centimeters or 11 inches high, 40 centimeters or 100. 40 inches or 102 centimeters wide flump basically awesome i mean this desk is like one and a half meters i think it's like 60 inches or something but yeah um five inches or 30 centimeters deep so it's kind of like it's gonna be a long but narrow set like a meter long and only five inches 13 centimeters deep it's gonna be a narrow set so it's gonna be a long street basically so it's not on a base plate it's not a set of base plates for sure um no batteries required uh, modular constructions uh, modular construction okay so it's gonna be connected together provides a hands-on fulfilling building experience uh, even the famous hat lifting entrance to wizards wizard wizards is powered by hand so Remember that mini Diagon Alley uh, when it had the mini version of the set as a gift with purchase? You know, the Weasley's shop has this like guy with the hat working in the front entrance. And this is gonna be probably a big construction with some sort of a lever. You can actually gonna be able to activate it. Maybe there's a power function involved. I don't know, but th that description is all we have right now. That being said, as Lego probably acknowledges the fact that this set was sort of leaked on their official channels on the shop at home for those Asian markets, we can expect an uh, announcement <laughs> pretty much imminent it's gonna be very very soon so expect probably an update video from me in the coming days but for now the description says it all it's gonna be a massive set over five and a half thousand pieces for a, a equivalent of about four hundred dollars which is you know to be expected 
Um, the minifigures, we don't know who's gonna be there, but we know what places will be there. We can expect a ton of awesome minifigures and, well, it's gonna be Hogwarts Castle all over again, uh, all over again with uh, how much the fans want this set to appear. All right. I'm excited, I think you should be as well, let's wait for the pictures, let's wait for uh, the announcement and so I can make an update video for you, but for now, let's keep this excitement going with the uh, official, uh, not official, official, not official, uh, announcement of the, <laughs> not really announcement of the description of the set from the uh, page details. Alright, let me know in the comment section below what you think, are you waiting for this set, are you gonna get it? I want it so bad, but again, it's very much so be beyond my budget right now. We're gonna see and wait. Comment section is open below, of course, as always, hit the like button, subscribe if you enjoy what I had to say, if you enjoy my content, or click the dislike button if you didn't, and I hope to see you in the next video. This was Mike, The Cool Factor, I hope to see you again next time, bye!